we are unashamedly proud of our London roots and our London history and heritage. These beautiful, circular, symmetric architecture. This gave the inspiration to create the first collection which we aptly named the Regent, the oval-shaped watch. Having settled London as our design inspiration, it was inevitable that our round collection would focus on Piccadilly Circus, which had been the epicentre of London during the period when John Nash was building modern London as we know it today. And then uh, drew inspirations from Berkeley Square, which must go down as one of the most beautiful squares in the world, amazed to discover that the trees in Berkeley Square were planted in 1789, which is when Baxton Strauss was founded. So we thought, this is a great marriage of the heritage and the actual designs of the watches. We are actually delighted to be in Mayfair. We have come back home. We're a stone throws away from Regent Street, from Berkeley Square and Piccadilly Circus. This home of Baxton Strauss is very unique. Upstairs we have more uh, a showroom where our collection is displayed for people to be able to distinguish the different collections and admire the wonderful workmanship of our craftsmen. But when you come downstairs it's a much more relaxed atmosphere. This is where our friends and our members will come to relax, to admire again the wonderful pieces, but at the same time to look at the archives and to, to enjoy uh, the company of uh, our friends and, and uh, members of our club. This is an amazing book. It's the customer index, which lists the cities and countries where their customers were established. We've got Cairo, so we come here to Naples, New York, it's truly global. And this here is fascinating because uh, this is the day book. So all the transactions were recorded on a daily basis. And flicking through the pages, you see Cartier on New Bond Street. And one very interesting entry which we discovered here is in May 1928, we see that Jacques Cartier personally bought, uh, it says, a one emerald cut brilliant, six carats or two, for £1,107, 13 shillings and seven pence. 